Oh, George, what's going on? Eh? What's going on? What's you get? What's you get? Right. Another week there, I put a side on the pergola. Pair specs. Um, so that sealed that off from the weather. Uh, now, just before I forget, that's my, what do you call them, spaghetti squash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ten, eleven, twelve all coming through. So, another week or so, and they'll be ready to put into grow bags or into the ground. So, what I'm doing with this is putting a sort of door where I'm going to put a roller door down there so as I can shut the pergola off. Stop stray critters coming in. So at the moment, I've got these posts more cut, shaped, sized at the top there, and screwed in. And 20 brackets at the bottom. Same with there. And it's all tapered in. And I've got these to put on, these trellises, they're just sitting there at the moment, ready to fall off. But they're going to be screwed in, and then what I'll eventually do, is along the bottom I've got a big deep box fill it with compost, and I'm going to grow two spaghetti squash up here. And I'll do the same with here, a big box, two spaghetti squash up there. And then for the winter coming in, I'm going to put a roller door in the middle. So in the winter time, I can shut that off. And yeah, it'll be nice and warm for winter time. And I'm going to put benches and stuff inside for a night to do a DIY. We've got a wee bit of trellis here that's falling to bits. That's going to be replaced by that, another full length. And I might put trellises along the wall. Um, I've got a, what do you call that? grape plant, seedless grape plant, so I'm going to put a trellis up here, so it'll grow up and then I'll run wires along the top and along the other far side and the grapevine can grow along there and we'll get nice fresh grapes um, I'll have this bit here, I'll maybe grow something up there, maybe another squash, something like that and then along in here, where I had my spaghetti squash the last time and I had some tomatoes, I'll dig all that out I'm going to put tomatoes, big tomatoes and cherry tomatoes and down here the shed there's a wee trellis here under this apple tree, I think this apple tree will come out, I've whacked it down a lot and <laughs> it's even got apples in it already so I'll probably whack that tree out and uh, put more trellises down here to grow because really what's the point of the garden and not growing stuff eh, when you can eat as you can see still loads of lemons some of them are ripe they're falling off the tree some of them are just starting to grow all my oranges are finished on this tree but if you look close there's thousands of oranges coming on thousands of them all over the tree so that's going to be good. That thing there is supposed to be a money tree. It's never given me any bloody money yet, but never mind. And the pool. The pool. This is going to be right for Margaret and Jim coming over this year. Are you wondering what all that stuff is there? It's off that fucking tree. We had a storm the other night and all the flowers blew off into the pool. So that's easy. I can scoop that up. Um, but the pump's on at the moment, I've got stuff to clear the pool, it's actually went from a horrible colour to a it's kind of going a bluey colour, you can't really see it at this time of night because it's getting dark it's 8 o'clock at night but yeah, I'll get the pump switched off and get it on tomorrow and I'll scrape all these things out within a couple of weeks the pool will be crystal clear again hopefully anyway so far so good, so that's the job tomorrow, we tidy up tonight and then tomorrow I'll get these trellises put in place and um, yeah and I still need to do something with the side, maybe concrete or something God knows, God knows but these trees are coming out, these are bottle brush trees and for anybody that doesn't know 
what a bottle brush plant is, it's, it's a tree and it gives off these things, they're full of nectar and through the day you get hundreds of these lovely wee birds come and feed off the nectar of these trees and yeah, bottle brush because they're like a bottle brush yeah, absolutely lovely native Australian tree, I've never seen them anywhere else I think you can only get them here that shed is going to come back down here I'm going to build a wall this side of the air condition and a gate and so that bit up there is going to be part of the carport so it'll give me a bit of room for putting a trailer in and things like that and I see next door it's got grapefruit growing up there mm -hmm. maybe get one of them soon <laughs> anyway here's George coming to see what I'm up to hey George the boss aren't you? hey George George she's a girl that was Jennifer called her George when she first arrived don't know where she came from then we realised she was a wee girl so it's Georgie girl isn't that right hen? yes Georgie girl yes I don't know where the other one's gone probably sitting at his dish as usual anyway time to tidy up and I'll see you all later so I'm supposed to be out tonight having a meal but I had a nose operation uh, with stitches up under here splint on and it's okay but I've got to keep doing a nose flush with water solution my throat's killing me um, so I didn't go out for a meal tonight because quite honestly if I sneezed or coughed there'd be blood everywhere it's horrible so I've been trying to keep myself busy in this just to take my mind off it anyway from me and from George it's a good night catch us all again